Hey everyone, remember when I did my video, and I'm going to show y'all real quick, hold on. I prophesied to you all in a video that I made, because I have Will You Die For Jesus channel, I have End Times Deliverance, and y'all know that, and I have the Conference of God channel. So I prophesied to you all in a video that I made, which I'm going to show you the title See, when a false prophet is exposed, they get upset and they will attack you and say all kinds of false things about you. Like, I've been called a false prophet by this Young's person and more than once. And he has no proof to back it up. But my prophecies come to pass. And here's proof of that. You see, in this video that I did of him, hold on. This one right here. Here. This video I did, I'm going to give you the date, August 24th, you can watch the whole thing if you want, August 24th, I said in this video that Jesus Christ told me that he was going to make an attack video against me, got to read the, listen, have spiritual ears to hear, that he was going to do an expose video against me, okay, check this out, August 24th, now, Not even four days later, he fulfilled the prophecy and did a video against me. I'm going to prove it. There's a lot of expose videos on this person. And this is my channel, Will You Die for Jesus? I made a response in defense of myself, of course. But I'm not going to do an expose video on it. I just basically said to this person about his minions that they need to get their behinds out of... Pastor Young's false prophets behind. They need to get their heads, I'm sorry, out of his behind because instead of seeking God for counsel, they're going to this Jezebel spirit who is a drunk. And I, and I prove that to y'all. But anyway, you see you got his minions that support him. Look at that. He fulfilled the prophecy, did an attack video against me because I basically exposed him as a false prophet. See that? See that? He says I'm a false prophet, but he has no proof to back that up, and that's what I said in my response. Okay? I'm very direct. Now, I'm going to take you, I'm, I'm, like I said, he fulfilled the prophecy on August 28th, 2014. And he, you know, that, like I said, on August 24th, I prophesied he would do an attack video against me because I exposed him as a false prophet because he keeps begging for money, taking advantage of people, poor souls, right? So, he fulfilled the prophecy August 28th. Let's take it an extra step. Look how many expose videos are on this person. Okay? There's one there. Do you see that? There's one up there. Um, there's one that somebody else did. Um, a person did a chan uh, expose video on this individual. Ho he Hyung's false teacher... See that? Somebody did an expo. Look at the laundry list of expose videos on this person. There's many. Some from me, some from other people. Somebody else exposed them. See? There's another person that exposed them. I'm just going to show you. I don't promote her as a prophet. Okay. But she did two expose videos on him. And he attacked her too. This channel right here. She did two expose videos on him. I'm going to go into her. Um, I'm going to go into her video feed. See. She did an expose video warning about him begging for money. I'm going to let you hear that in a second. And you'll see that God's not only using me to expose this false prophet, he's using other people as well. Okay, I think she did another video on him unless she took it down, but she did another video on him. Okay, but let's take a look at the video she's talking about because she mentioned that he is begging for money. Just like I said... He mentioned he's begging for money. Watch this. And she, he attacked. 
He attacked her too. So I'm going to play the entire video that this is how this false prophet Heung's is. This person whom I exposed as a false prophet was exposed by somebody else. So this Heung's David Zachary is of Satan and has a Jezebel spirit, refuses correction. Let's hear what this person told him. A video. And I let you know and I alarmed the people that God showed me some things that's not right. That hurts the Lord, Dave. I said it hurts the Lord. And the Lord God is simply, he's simply seeking that you will repent. I understand. Again, I see your work. You cannot, you cannot under any circumstances accept any kind of rebuke. And you're a pastor now. That's what you say. You cannot accept any kind of reproof, nor can you accept correction, Dave. I'm going to stop there. That's exactly what I told y'all. Now, like I said, God used her to communicate to the masses that he's a false prophet. I am not promoting her as a prophet, but I believe that God will use various people, okay, to get a word across. I don't know this woman. I've never seen her before. So if Mr. Hyung's is true like he says he is, why is God using somebody else and multiple other people? I showed you proof that he's a false prophet because he is. Exactly what I told you, that he refuses correction, he begs for money, she's pretty much saying the same thing. Let's go on. It's not like I came in there and I just tried to slander you all back and forth against the wall. I recognized in the video, if you were listening, that God does love you. You are loved by him. And he chastens those he loves. You know that if you say you are a pastor, I'm not doing that to hurt you on a personal scale. So don't compare me with someone else, your enemy, to try to attack you. I'm not your enemy. It's I'm going to interject for a minute. That's exactly what he does to me. I told you all that as part as loving the body of Christ is we have to help them and we have to edify them. Okay. We have to help them and we have to edify them. All right. We have this part of loving your brother or sister in Christ is correcting them if they're in error. Think about it. If your, your brother, your little brother or sister at home is doing something wrong and you know they're going to get in a lot of trouble. Wouldn't you try to stop them or talk to them and reason with them so they don't get in trouble? And if the, you know that what they're doing is wrong and you try to talk to them a couple of times, okay, wouldn't you then go to the to your parents and say, Mom, so-and-so is not listening. They're doing something really bad and they're going to get in trouble in school. The same principle applies here. When you're correcting a brother or sister in error, it's because it's out of love. Okay? So that way, they don't continue on their erroneous ways, on, in their ways of error. So they can be restored to righteousness. And ultimately, it's up to them to make that choice. It's up to them to accept the correction, but you have false prophets like he youngs that refuses correction. And I'm going to make another interjection here. Um, this is a video that this channel did on him. I don't know if you see that right there. Another expose video. So it's not only me speaking against this false prophet. Let's continue. It's that demon that lives on the inside of you. Now, if I call you, I say... Pastor Dave, that's another thing that I need to be corrected of because deep down on the inside, if you're talking about the type of pastor that is in the fivefold ministry, I don't think you fit that, sir. I'm going to interject there. She recognizes that he has demons, point I've been making all this time. He's under the spellbound of a very powerful Jezebel spirit. A Jezebel spirit that is the dominant personality. And I do deliverance cases, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't the first time I've seen this. Jezebel spirit that is on, that is a dominant personality, a stronghold, and is um, con is it has other subordinates like spirits of pride, divination, false prophecy, vision, um, spirits of false apostasy. This particular individual calls himself a pastor, but he's not. And I'm gonna be blunt. He's a pastor of Satan. 
Because a righteous pastor is not going to act like he does. He literally goes on his channel and acts like a child. When you do a video exposing him, he attacks you and starts saying, oh, you got a lot of channels or you have false prophecies. But he has no proof of that. I prophesied to you guys that he was going to do a video against me on August 24th. And that prophecy came to pass August 28th, ladies and gentlemen. That's a prophet right there. And I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I don't even think I am. I'm just telling you. You want to see something about the word of God says? When a prediction comes true, watch this. My prediction came true, okay? It came true. Let's see what the word of God says about that. If a person like that is sent by him or not. Let's just see. Let's go to the word of God, okay? Let's go to the word of God. Here's Deuteronomy 18.22, ladies and gentlemen. When a prophet speaketh the word, the Lord's name, excuse me. When a prophet speaketh in the Lord's name, Deuteronomy 22, or 18.22. And the message does not come true or is not fulfilled. That is the message the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken presumptuously. Do not be afraid. But if a person speaks in Jesus' name, which I did on August 24th, and that message comes to pass, see, then that is a that is a person that that the Lord has sent. Okay? That is a person the Lord has sent. It says it in the word of God. Whenever a prophet speaks in my name and the prediction is not fulfilled, then I have not spoken it. The prophet presumed the prophet has presumed to speak it, you need not fear him. But if a prophet comes in God's name, makes a prediction and it comes to pass, that person was sent by God. Okay? That person has sent by God. Look at Ezekiel 33, 33. Here's more proof. And when this cometh to pass, slow it will, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. So if a prediction is made by a person speaking in the name of Jesus Christ, and that prediction comes to pass according to the scriptures that person was sent from God a messenger from God and there's a prophet among them I'm not calling myself a prophet I'm just telling you what the scripture says okay that's what I'm telling you that's what I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen so I just debunked his theory about me having a string of false prophecies Okay, I'm not sitting here calling myself a prophet, but I made a prediction on August 24th and August 28th. He fulfilled it. He felt like he fell right into it. The Lord told me he wasn't going to be able to resist doing a, an attack video on me. And you know what else? I'm going to prophesy something to you today that he's going to do. And he's not going to be able to resist it. I don't know the date or the time, but he's going to do another attack video against me because of this one. He's not going to be able to resist it. Let's finish this other video here. So, see, I need to correct myself. I don't think you fit that profile, sir. But I respect you enough if you say you're a pastor. Hey, I call you a pastor. And so, if God shows me some things about the pastor, I'm going to correct the pastor. I don't mind doing so, sir. Now, I came to you because God wants you to repent, Dave. And just because a lot of people cannot see through you, Dave, I don't have no bionic eyes. I don't have all of those, you know, those worldly things and those material things, by the way, like you, Dave. But I do have some spiritual things going on with me, such as insight, Dave. God showed me that what you are doing, you're doing for personal gain. I've warned him about that many times. I've warned him and told him that he's straight up robbing God blind. Now, she can sit there and call him a pastor, but I'm not. A pastor is a pastor who feeds the flock righteously. And she's correct when she says that he has a lot of worldly things. He does. He cares about money. He loves money. What do you think when he showed you his house, he was showing you around his home and all that, saying, oh, I feel blessed. 
But you know the situation is, let's say if he wasn't able to get that house, he would be cursing God right now. He loves money. And he's making money off of all of you people that donate to his channel. You need to wake up. Let's continue. Accept that. Accept that. But it does not mean that it has to end right there. If you want a homeless ministry, you can really do that day. You can. I believe you can. I believe you're good at it. I believe you can actually have a homeless ministry. A real homeless ministry day. I'm not saying that you can't do those things. You can do all things through Christ. You can. But accept the fact that that video that I made was a video of reproof, rebuke, and correction. It is what it is. She's talking about this video right here, which I saw and I agree with 100%. Now, I'm not promoting her as a prophet, okay? I'm just saying that I agree with the fact that he is a false prophet. He does beg for money. He's a false teacher. Other people have made that point. So it is nothing on a personal level, but he is robbing God blind. And he claims he's not a drunk. He has a drunk spirit. And in one of his videos that I showed you already, he has a bottle of beer or what looks like liquor behind a, a jar of mustard. Somebody else pointed it out to him. Look at my video. I showed that to you. Okay. Um, he refuses correction. This is the last time I'm going to speak on this topic. It really is. Because at this point, it's in Jesus Christ's hands. When people like this, when you try to reprove and rebuke them, like the word of God says, and they don't refuse correction. I mean, they don't accept correction. God says to dust your feet off. So after this point, I'm going to dust my feet off. I really am. I'm not going to sit here and stoop to his level. He's acting like a child, name calling, attacking those that try to correct him, attacking us on a personal level, you know, making fun of us, mocking us. But his words, his little words mean nothing. It doesn't bother me because I'm still standing. And you watchmen that expose these false prophets still keep speaking boldly. Don't let them um, influence your walk with Christ. Let's continue. Now you can accept it, or you can just go on. You don't have to. But don't come back trying to slander me for the word cow, when I, in fact, what you don't know is I almost allowed my flesh to say the word dog. I'm going to stop there. Remember that video I showed you that he did? This one. I think this is the one she's talking about. Um, let me go back to his channel. I know what she's talking about. He likes to attack everyone. He likes to attack True, you know, the watchman on the wall that expose him. Now, again, I'm not promoting her as a prophet because I don't know her like that. But this is what she's talking about. She's talking about this video right here. This video right here, he attacked me and he attacked her. He attacked her. He slandered the both of us for trying to correct him. He not only slandered her, he slandered other watchmen on the wall too. Another channel called Find the Truth. Um, he slandered other channels. Other people that tried to correct him. He has a Jezebel spirit. That's why people are warning you about him. Let's continue. Okay, but I caught that and I corrected that. I almost used the word dog. Because I really feel in my heart that a dog can actually go through the eye of a needle. I really do. I really do. Before a rich man. You can do better, Dave. Just pray about the message and go on. I'm going to stop there. In this video she did, she was making comments about how he's a... Uh, asking for donations and he's straight up using he's straight up robbing God blind I'm just gonna you know summarize you could watch it for yourself I think the Lord's gonna keep it up okay watch it for yourself but the bottom line is this channel he attacked me and her okay he refuses correction 
He fulfilled the prophecy of coming up against me. Like I told you four days earlier, he fulfilled it. He refuses correction, so I'm dusting my feet off. It's in God's hands now. His minions that support him, they're a cult. They fell in God's hands too. They rather just sit here and defend a false prophet than stand up for the cross. That's their choice. But you ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to make that choice. You can make the right choice and that's to seek God's counsel and pray about this message. Stay away from this guy and people like him. You need to pray for discernment. And this isn't about me. This is for the glory of Jesus Christ. It's nothing to do with me. I'm just a messenger coming forth to warn you about false prophets like this. Tools that Satan is using. They may look innocent and elderly or Christ-like on the outside. But inside they're dead man's bones. I'm not saying he looks Christ-like. I'm not going to insult Jesus Christ like that. Okay. Um, God calls wicked work, uh, uh, workers of iniquity like this dogs. God says it's easier for a camel to get into the needle of an, a, a hole of a needle, okay, the eye of a needle, than a rich man or lover of money. He's a lover of money. So let's see when it really goes down, when Jesus Christ comes back, let's see if he's going to be among those raptured. It's not my decision. It's up to the Lord. But I know that God's against this guy.